it would seem that Nintendo is going to actually ramp up production of a Nintendo Switch line of consoles, just the normal one that we've always had, not a new one like we all hoped. But let's talk about why and what's coming in 2023 for Nintendo. So hopping on over to Bloomberg, they say Nintendo plans to boot, boost Switch output to meet resilient demand, a chip shortage ebbs. Company anticipates demand rebound. Zelda themed Switch is a possibility this year, and I am did not pay for it. So we're going to go on over to Video Games Chronicle. In its seventh year, Nintendo is reportedly planning to increase Switch production despite its aging status. Consumer demand remains high for the console. Now, here's the thing. Uh, if you have kids... They probably love that it's the Switch. It's portable. They can play it while you're doing whatever at the DMV. Uh, it's really, really hard to do stuff when you have little ones with you, right? Like I record these at night because my son wants to play during the day. But what we really wanted was a new Switch. So let's go back in time, all the way back to December 28th, 2022, before everybody was getting laid off. Anyway, uh, a new mid-gen Nintendo Switch was planned, but scrapped, it's claimed. And... Uh, this is coming from a lovely outlet. I really love Insider Gaming, actually. They've been doing some good work over there. It has been nearly six years since the March 2017 launch of the Nintendo Switch, and many have wondered when or if a new version of the console was coming. New Nintendo Switch Pro rumors have been running around for years now, but it has never come to be. Apparently, though, it was supposed to happen. In a video posted on Tuesday, Digital Foundry, John Linneman said that at some point, based on his information, a new version of the original Switch was planned. So I think at one point, internally, from what I can understand from talking to different developers, is that there was some sort of mid-generation Switch update planned at one point, and that seems to be no longer happening, he said. And thus, it's pretty clear that whatever they do next is going to be the actual next-generation hardware. Well, apparently not. <laughs> apparently, they're ramping up production of the original Switch, you know, we have the OLED, the white one. I actually got the white one because I am a sucker and I, I thought it looked cool. So I got it. It does have a little bit of a nicer screen, but no, you're totally fine with whatever version that you currently have. You want to go further down the rabbit hole with me? I'm going to, I'm going to open up my bookmark because I've had this story bookmarked for quite a long time. And if we go over to Metro... Let's let's go back a little bit further. We're going to go over to Metro. Fine, I'll disable my ad blocker. I don't like using an ad blocker, but like some of these websites are formatted in such a bizarre way that it makes displaying them weird. But anyway, like look, now I can't even Where's the article? <laughs> what? Anyway, Nintendo Switch 2 rumors reignite as Nintendo increases stockpile of raw materials by 600%. This was reported on Game Central of uh, June 20 2022 and i actually did a story about it and nobody watched it so thanks for watching my nintendo coverage y'all you know who you are no i'm just teasing um but nintendo switch 2 rumors reignite as nintendo increases stockpile of raw materials so what nintendo had been doing is they were just getting all of this stuff for a new console and they actually commented about it in one of their interviews Rather than rely on insider gossip, which rarely proves to be true when it comes to Nintendo, this rumor is based on Nintendo's own financial reports, which show a massive increase in raw materials and supplies this year of 2022. Last year, it only amounted to... Can I pause this? Oh, my goodness. Last year, it only amounted to 9,553 million yen. Oh, my God. I'm confused because like, there's two currencies here that I don't use. Um, worth and yet 2022, it's reported that 66,000. Wow, that is a big increase six times or 401 million. That's not six times. Oh, I'm bad at math anyway. That's a 600% increase. Oh, I was right 600% increase and yet still and still double that of the 2019 figure when the Switch Lite was launched. And yet, Nintendo has provided no explanation for what it's all for. It's nothing to do with their new R&D headquarters, which is accounted for differently. And when an investor asked the Nintendo what it was for, they were given a typically vague non-answer. An official translation should be available shortly. It, it was available. I know because I read it before. Uh, but according to Google Translate, Nintendo president Shunitaro 
Furukawa stated that it's a technical and difficult story, so I'll omit it a lot. One of the things I have is that I have a lot of raw materials, and there is also the effect of changes in accounting treatment, he added. Now, here's the thing. Let's go back to 2022. What was going on in 2022? A massive pandemic, and nobody, nobody could get components for anything. So Nintendo just said, you know what? We're just going to stockpile all these components. And now 2023 is here. We have this rumored new console from Digital Foundry, and it hasn't arrived yet. Before I continue, though, half of you aren't subscribed. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, I have here half of you aren't subscribed. I have this goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers. I would very much appreciate it if you considered hitting that button. So anyway, continuing on, they have all these raw supply materials, and then we start getting these rumors about a new Switch. A new Nintendo Switch was apparently in the works, and then it was scrapped. Why would they do that? Well, because they have this huge stockpile of components for the original Switch. They have a new Zelda game coming out, and if you think about it from a business perspective, I mean, in my opinion, it kind of makes sense. Sales cooled off a bit for the Nintendo Switch, but they never went away. Nintendo is just like this weird company, not weird in like a bad way, like weird in that they can just make the switch for as long as they want, apparently, and keep printing money and putting it into their bank accounts. And that seems like what they're going to do in 2023 based on the report. So that was a long way to get back to the original story. And its seventh year, Nintendo is planning to ramp up production. So it reduced its Switch sales forecast for the current fiscal year ending in March 2023 by 2 million units from 21 to 19 million. However, according to Bloomberg, strong consumer demand coupled with the Zelda game means that they're going to ramp it up again. Switch was the best selling console in Europe, the United States and Japan in 2022. And Nintendo reportedly believes adoption has been hampered by more supply issues than waning demand. Think about that. You got people trying to get a PlayStation 5 everywhere. You got people trying to get the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, which is seeing pretty good sales in Japan. Not the best they've ever. Well, yeah, actually, they've actually outsold the Xbox One already. And I believe they're probably on track to outsell the 360. And here's Nintendo still releasing the same old console. And there's like, yeah, we're fine. We're, we're going to outsell both of you. <laughs> anyway, Nintendo said last May that the eventual transition from Switch to its next hardware platform was a major focus for the company, but it's planned to reportedly increase Switch production in its fiscal year, suggests a successor to the console might not launch before 2024. And here's the thing. I think in 2023, people are going to hold on to their money. Nobody's going to spend any everything. I said it in a few other videos, like people just seem like they're going to hunker down and try and get through the next few years as things calm down, because we're, we're seeing the effects of the pandemic now and the, you know, the war in Ukraine and all of these things are going to have a, an impact on us. And I think that's what we're seeing here in January, right? So hopefully things cool off sooner rather than later, but Nintendo's also seeing all this and they have to be saying, yeah, maybe this isn't the year to launch a new Nintendo console. Let's do that in 2024. Let's get over whatever 2023 is going to be. And then uh, we'll launch in 2024 when things are more prosperous, hopefully. Pierce Harding Rolls, research director at Ampere Analytics, recently predicted that Nintendo's next console won't arrive this year. I'm not expecting a next-gen console in 2023. We have 2024 in our forecast, he told GamesIndustry.biz. And I think he's right on the money, personally. Based on how things are going, I just don't think 2023 is the year to launch new hardware. 2023 is going to be people subscribing to services like Game Pass. They're going to be subscribing to PlayStation Plus. They want to stretch their dollar as far as they can go. So if Sony has like a PlayStation 5 that comes with their PlayStation Plus service for three months, people are going to jump on deals like that. If they do... Well, they're probably not going to do a price reduction because everybody just uh, adjusted for inflation, but we will see. Let's keep reading. No doubt that Switch OLED will be in strong demand at new Zelda launch, and a good percent of buyers will be those upgrading from OG Switch or Lite, he tweeted. Even so, the idea that Switch will increase sales next fiscal year is optimistic if true. Pretty much confirms our view 
of no next gen in 2023. If true, that production will increase. The analysts said a price drop and new bundles, such as one expected for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, could be the reason behind the production boost. And I believe there was even a leaked switch in that report we discussed for the Zelda Switch. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> Not that long ago, I knew I remembered seeing something like this. This is from December 30th. Leaked images show Zelda Tears of the Kingdom OLED Switch. So put some very fancy paint on your OLED switch and then repackage it and sell it again to your customers. So that's what's going on. They are likely repackaging the OLED. They're going to resell it. So we have another year of the switch and hopefully in 2024 seems like a good year for our first foray into new hardware with Nintendo who is, they've just marched to the beat of their own drum. And I think that's a good year for them to launch new hardware. I, I don't think I think 2023 is a year for games, everybody, PlayStation, Nintendo, everyone, please just make great games. Going to need a big distraction this year. Got a baby on the way. I'm going to need something to do when I'm up all night. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And half of you aren't subscribed. So please, again, consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell to know when my content goes live. I do appreciate it. Thank you to the members for supporting this channel. I appreciate you. If you want to become a member, support any level, you just click that join button right down there. And... I upload all these videos with no ads. So if you don't like the ads, get rid of them that way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out this Starfield video I made, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.